In this video, we'll be working with the webhook function in Zapier. You'll learn how to use webhooks to provide other apps information in real time. We'll be using Simple Scraper, Zapier, and Google Sheets in this tutorial. We'll be using the free plan for each tool to complete this project. Please note, you must have a paid plan to use the webhooks in Zapier. However, on the free trial for the paid plan, you can take advantage of the webhooks Zap. Simple Scraper is a great tool for extracting data from sites without any code. Please note, you will need to be using Chrome as this is a Chrome extension. And Zapier is a useful tool to automate processes. And it's within Zapier that we'll set up our webhook function to process external data from Simple Scraper. And of course, Google Sheets is where our exported data will get processed to. For convenience, I've timestamped the video in the description. Before we save our web scraper and set up our webhook, I want to scrape some data from a website to ensure that we return the correct data. So to begin, you'll want to go to blockchain.com forward slash charts. We're going to scrape the market price and the transactions per day for Bitcoin. I'm scraping this for project purposes only. Perhaps you were interested in trying to understand if there is a correlation between price and transactions. However, that isn't the key purpose of this tutorial. The purpose is showing you how to use the webhook function in Zapier, and this is the data I'll be using. So let's start by opening Simple Scraper. We can select the first data point we want to scrape by clicking the plus sign, then selecting the data point we want to scrape. First, we want to scrape the price, and I only want this piece of data. Everything highlighted will get scraped. Let's name this data point price, and click the tick to set it for when we run the scraper. Second, we want transactions. So we need to click the plus sign again. Then we need to select the transactions. And again, I only want this piece of data. And let's name this transactions and click the tick to set it for when we run the scraper. With all of the data selected, we can run the scraper and it will work its magic. To run the web scraper, click view results. Simple Scraper will then work its magic and return our desired data. We can now save this web scraper so we can integrate it with our webhook. Let's save the settings for our scraper before configuring our webhook. In Simple Scraper, scraper settings are referred to as recipes. Hence, you'll need to click Save Recipe, and from there, you'll get prompted to complete these initial scraper recipe settings. So let's do that. Recipe name, I'll simply label this Bitcoin webhook. URL, we'll want to leave that exactly as it is. Selected properties, price and transactions, that's our selected data. Page navigation, we can leave that as it is. Now click create recipe. On the left hand side under my recipes, you'll now see your recipe Bitcoin webhook. Let's click onto that, then click on the integrate tab. And from there, you'll see webhook URL. It's here where we need to insert the URL for our webhook in Zapier. Let's switch over to Zapier and begin building our webhook function. Once you've created your Zapier account and logged in, you'll want to click create zap and the first zap that you'll want to search for is webhooks by zapier and the trigger event we'll want to set that to catch hook that function will wait for a new post put or get request then act as soon as it receives that data once you've done that click continue Zapier will now generate a custom webhook URL. That's the URL that we'll want to enter into Simple Scraper. 
Let's copy the URL. And once you've done that, go back to Simple Scraper, paste in the webhook URL, and click Enter to save it. Now, while we're here, you'll want to click Run Recipe. And let's go to the Results tab to wait for this recipe to run because we can't move on to the next stage without this having run. And this can take a few moments depending on the amount of data that you're web scraping. But once it has run, you'll see your data show. And once it's showing, we can go back to Zapier. Now we can leave everything else here as it is and click continue. Now from here, what we'll want to do is click test trigger. That will test the integration of our webhook up until now. And if you set up the webhook correctly, a scraped result will appear. And as we can see, it's showing the correct data, price and transactions. With the confirmation of that working correctly, we can click continue. Let's add another zap to our automation in Zapier. We want the zap to come after the webhook we created and it should be Google Sheets. And we'll want to set the action event for this to create spreadsheet row, then click continue. At this point, you'll be required to connect your Google Sheets account to Zapier. It's a one click process. Once you've done that, you can continue and you can select your Google Sheets account, which once you've done so, again, click continue. And now it's here where we can go through the process of selecting this specific Google Sheet that we want to output our data to. Now, just a quick note, for this project, I created a Google Sheet titled Bitcoin Webhook. Hence, I'll be using that spreadsheet to complete our project. So let's go back to Zapier and complete the actions. So Drive, I'll simply want to select my Google Drive. And for the spreadsheet, as we remember, it was titled Bitcoin Webhook. So I can select that. And for worksheet, there is only one worksheet, which is sheet one. Now, once you've done that, you'll notice that the zap expands. And the reason for that is that our Google Sheet contains headers and Zapier reads those headers. Hence, it will allow us to map the data into those specific columns. So in the first column, which is price, I want to put price. And in the second column, which is transactions, I want transactions, which if we click show all options, we can find. So there we have price, under price, transactions, under transactions. And if we refer back to the web scraper for just a moment, that's the data we want, price, transactions. We don't want all of the other redundant data exported into our sheet. So let's now go back to Zapier and click continue. Now click test and review in Zapier. And within moments, we will see our automation complete. The output will get displayed in our Google Sheets and you'll see the result if we switch over to the Google Sheet. You can see we have the price, and the transactions. And back in Zapier, once you've done that, you can turn on your Zap. And from there on out, it will activate instantly as new data gets passed to it. And of course, if we set up our scraper to scrape periodically and automatically, I recommend that you refer to the simple scraper documentation, this entire process will be automated this project is now complete. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this no-code project, please give this video a like. And if you want to be notified of the latest projects that I publish regularly, please subscribe. I'll see you in another no-code project.